sweet-talked, swindled, coerced, and then sold. Victims of human trafficking find themselves in this modern-day slavery, chained to their duties and stripped of their freedoms. According to the National Institute of Justice, human trafficking is defined as the recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring, or receipt of persons by improper means, such as force, abduction, fraud, or coercion, for an improper purpose including forced labor or sexual exploitation. Human trafficking comes in many forms, the most prominent being sex and labor trafficking. However, organ trafficking, child soldiers, forced child marriage, and even forced begging are not exempt from this definition. Anyone has the potential to be a victim, no matter your age, ethnicity, gender, education, or socioeconomic background. Anyone is at risk of becoming a commodity sold in this black market. In the U.S., the average age of entry into prostitution is 12 to 14 years old. Traffickers are just the same. These dealers and pimps are hiding behind a computer screen or in plain sight, maybe even in your own hometown. A former victim of human trafficking, Rebecca Bender, stated in a Crime Watch interview, I've heard traffickers say, based on how bad the victim's family life was as a child, will determine how long the grooming process will take. Sometimes, I've heard traffickers say, if the young girls were sexually abused, I want to thank their fathers for making the grooming easier. They may lure them with promises of a better life, financial stability, and even romance. Once they have them in their grasp, they are exploited, beaten, brainwashed, and put into brothels or other forced labor. Can we end this cycle? Stop the treatment of our brother and his commodities put an end to this crime against humanity. As a part of a school project, I made a Barbie doll style box as a statement against the objectification of trafficking victims who are bought and sold as toys. Students stepped inside and donated 50 cents to take a picture. Holding up a sign voicing their messages against traffickers, all funds are going to the SOAP, Save Our Adolescents from Prostitution Organization. I'm working with Mandy Leverett, a friend and the founder of CAN, the Church and Community Abolition Network who is working with Teresa Flores, a survivor of sex slavery and the proud founder of SOAP. We are raising money in order to buy boxes of bars labeled with the human trafficking hotline number that will be distributed to hotels that may hold sex trafficking victims who can use the number to call for help. A box of 1,000 bars is $135, so we can really use your help in donations. Over 100,000 volunteers have labeled and given out SOAP, and almost 1 million bars have been distributed nationwide. Will you join us in this fight against modern-day slavery? Visit the link in the description below to see how you can participate in a hotel outreach or donate. Join us in saving the lives of thousands who are human trafficking victims today.